not only got to stretch now. I've had enough. It's important to stretch. I know, but Peggy wants me to do some jobs. Oh, does she? Yeah. Uh, my keep or something. OK. See you See later. You later. So why are you not returning any of my calls? Not now, Jack. Come on, I only want to talk. Really? Why don't you talk to your girlfriend? Girlfriend? Yeah. DCI Marsden. Oh, look, I can explain. Just give me ten minutes, yeah. Please. You've been in cahoots with Marsden. I'm not in cahoots with anyone. I don't believe you. Look, we weren't talking about you, all right? I just wanted to find out what she knew. And what does she know? Well, she went all professional on me. You think I did it, don't you? What? Well, come on, it's not like I didn't have enough reason. We've been over all this one. Suppose I had done it. How would that make you feel? Let's not play games. That's all we ever do, Jack. Look, I know, you know we've hurt each other in the past. Yeah, and who started that? Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, it that. does. Yes, it does. It matters very much indeed. All right. I started it, all right? I'm the bad one, if that's what you want to hear. You're not bad. You're not bad. You're just weak. I'm worse than that. I'm stupid because you know, common sense is it's never going to work. Every time I see you. Stop it. Stop it, OK? Why are you telling me you don't feel the same way? You haven't answered my question. What question? If I'd done it, how would that make you feel? Honest answer. Honest answer? I'd understand, Ron. If it was the other way around, and I killed him, did you? How would you feel about me, then? I should be getting back. So when am I going to see you? That we hurt each other, Jack. That's what we do. Let's not. But when a day goes by, I don't think about you. Please don't. Come on. Mm. Thought we were getting somewhere. Every time we get somewhere, we end up back where we started. So she confessed? She's playing me. And why would she do that? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, it's probably a part of her that wishes she had killed him. That's what I hope. What do you mean, you hope? Well, how would I feel if I knew she killed him? That was the question. Why would she ask that question? Well, exactly. I mean, you don't seriously think, do you? I don't know what I think. You got a little test party? Yeah, can't be bothered, but I should. Yeah, I might make some excuses later. Turn up a bit late. You're all right, yeah? That conversation we had earlier in the calf. Look, Max, I don't want you spreading that around. I reckon she's winding you up. But why? Who jokes about murdering their own father? Well, I have. Plenty of times. I mean, no one's ever done it, have they? <laughs> Can I go yet? Where's your skids of family? Bill? Yeah. Check those on? Uh, no, thanks. So, uh, come on, Uncle Jack. You was an ex-copper. Who did the crime? No comment. Oh, come on. But if you ask me, she was always a bad girl when we were younger. Put bleach in Sonia's goldfish bar. I mean, what kind of evil does that? I ain't playing this game. What happened to her first husband? It's what Mum always used to say. Has she been invited to the wedding? Mum? No. Look, Uncle 
Bianca, if I was going to mention it to Bianca, how do you think she'd react? Not very well. Oh, you're missing it up your birthday. We're just about to cut the cake. Yeah, sorry about that. Popped in at the community centre. It's just full of old people, wild people. <laughs> yeah, I only had it got for a couple of hours. Then we've all had to come back here. Come in. Go right, everyone. Oh, Be good, the lights up. All right. Right, come on in, make a wish, Tiff. Play the game, Zelle. Yay! Yay! Any progress with the inquiries then, Detective Sergeant Brown? <sighs> now you're the third person of the day, I'm getting sick of it. All right, young lady, happy birthday, that's for you. Here, yeah, what'd you say? Thank you, Uncle Matt. You're all welcome. Abby helped me pick it yesterday, says so sorry she's not here. Who is it? Oh. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Getting these batteries here. I think it's on. It wags its tail, barks, and all that. Yeah, it does its business on the floor, bites the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> How would you put the batteries in? Yep, you need a screwdriver. Oh yeah, I think I've got one in the kitchen. All right, I've got one here. Yeah, I've got... Oh. Tiff, go and get Uncle Jack a plaster, quick. Yeah, I need a plaster, Tiff. Go on, go with it. Yeah. Go on. flannel, oh. Tiff. I'm going to tear that end off. What are you doing? His name's Growler. It's a guide dog. <laughs> quick at doing it myself, aren't I? Aren't you going to wash your hands? Yeah, it's only a little cut. You should always wash your hands really carefully when you have a cut, like Bradley did at Christmas. What are you talking about? When Bradley had all that blood on his hands, I saw him. 